For people with slow computers, before taking your computer to the repair shop or even thinking about replacing it, please check out remotetechassistance.com. Also, make sure you check out the seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is simple, it is free, and it is safe. Check it out at remotetechassistance.com. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little different than what I do. Today, I'm going to be restoring this 2003 HP Pavilion ZE4600 laptop. Now, before I restore this laptop, I have opened whatever compartments I can so I can get them cleaned out using an air duster can. So I will just do this. Just like that. And now we can screw these compartments back in together. And now I'm going to take a little dab of Windex and I'm going to clean the screen with this microfiber cloth. And now we can start the whole restoring process. But before I show you how it's done, normally a lot of these HP laptops have a recovery partition to where you can access it and restore the whole laptop but this is not the case. In this case, we're gonna be using this HP OEM of Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 1A along with the driver recovery CD it comes with. But without further ado, let's go ahead and turn on the laptop and repeatedly press F2 to get into the BIOS. Now, I had to charge this laptop for quite a while because the battery wasn't in good condition. So now we are going to take this CD and we can pop it into here. And now we gotta make sure that it boots to the CD drive. Now with, uh, with, Phoenix, with Phoenix BIOS setup utilities, uh, we will want to use the F5 and the F6 key to relocate the CD-ROM drive. So I pushed F6 to put the CD-ROM drive all the way to the top. And now just like any other BIOS, you can save by hitting F10 and then hitting yes. Now it should say press any key to boot from CD which we will, obviously. Now, the only downside with this laptop is the setup screen, as you can tell, does not fill the entire screen, but rather in a small, uh, small portion of the screen, like you would see in a virtual machine or some such. Okay, so now we are at the uh, setup screen, so we can hit enter to set the operating system up, uh, hit F8 to agree. Now, as you can tell, it currently has uh, an operating system on here, but in this case we will want to hit the escape key for don't repair. Now, here is the partition, and there's the unpartitioned 8 megabytes, which I don't know what that is. But I'm going to delete the partition, hit enter, make sure you have everything backed up, and then I'm going to confirm the deleting process by hitting the L key. And now we have a brand new hard drive that we can restore. This is an 80 gigabyte hard drive that it originally came with when purchased brand new. So, and I think 80 gigabytes is fine for Windows XP, so I'm not gonna worry about replacing the hard drive. But we can create the hard drive and use the maximum size for the new partition, which is just 7.6 gigs. 
hit enter to create and now we can enter to format the partition don't ever do the quick way but just do it the regular way and it will take some time but now we are ready to install and wait okay so now we are end at the formatting part of this now it is moving on to the examination of the disk And now it is copying files from the CD. Okay, now it is time to restart the computer. Now it's going to probably ask me to press any key to boot to the CD, but in this case we are just going to let it pass this time. Now, once again, resolution glitch, so it's going to be just a portion of the screen as opposed to the whole thing. Okay, so now it is time to configure the regional and language options, which it already has. I'm going to put in my name. and my organization remote tech assistance and I'm just gonna call this old restore HP Now it is time to uh, use the typical settings. So let's just hit next. Ooh, that was fast. Okay. Now, I currently do not have a, a wireless connectivity or a wired connection, but I am going to plug in the Ethernet in this case and plug it into the back of the computer. Okay, so now that that's connected, I'm going to select LAN and click Next. And I'm going to skip the high-speed connection but I do not want to register with Microsoft. I'll just put in my name. All right. There's that awesome startup sound that you probably haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> Now we can eject the Windows XP CD out of the optical drive, but we are not done just yet restoring this laptop. You'll see that the screen is still messed up. That is because we have to do this part now, the driver recovery CD. So we're going to pop that into the optical drive. I'm going to go into my computer. 
and there it had it has picked it up oh and it's starting the installation process already which is cool now with this you'll see that uh, it will install the hardware with this computer and the software so we're gonna let that roll and ooh, there's the list right here click next I decided to speed up this whole process just to see what it looks like you'll see that it will install the drivers first and then after a while it will install the software and the wallpaper surprisingly now the surprising part about this laptop is it comes with Quicken 2003 and um, it also is the new user edition which is cool now apparently WinDVD does not want to install but that that's really nothing so I'm just gonna go ahead and restart the laptop now I'm going to zoom out a little just because the video driver should be ready therefore it should be at the correct resolution this time and there's the HP wallpaper that it comes with which is pretty cool and there you have it that is how you restore a 2003 HP Pavilion ZE 4600 model laptop does take some time but it's rather a cool experience when you do experiments with old laptops and that's about it thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and check out some of my other tech videos too